Hi everybody, I'm Donna Stellhorn and I'm the author of this little booklet, Sage and Smudge. I wrote this about 14 years ago and it's still a bestseller and so very, very happy about that. Today I want to talk to you about different types of smudge sticks, so what you use to do a clearing with sage. And so I have a couple of the typical smudge sticks right here. Now, uh, and both of these I've used, so I couldn't find one that I hadn't used around here. Now, uh, this small one has a little uh, stick handle, as you can see. Even though this one is tiny, this one would last you for many clearings. Uh, you could use this one for uh, at least six or seven clearings. So on a 2,000 square foot house, that's pretty good. So you can also find these very large ones. Now, they, these are great because it's going to last so long, but the trouble is, is if it's too big around, what happens is the fire can go inside, and at that point it's really hard to get out, and then the smudge stick just, you know, keeps burning, which can generate a lot of smoke. Now, this is a white sage uh, smudge stick, and that's the variety that most of the time we use, but... Uh, back when I lived in New Mexico, we also used the sagebrush. This is what we would call as a New Mexico sage. So also very effective, but it is a different herb. It's not quite as sweet, and uh, it burns pretty much just as well. It's not as easy to get. Most people do the white sage. Now, you can use the bundle, but also you can do loose sage, and I have some here in this abalone shell. Look at this gorgeous abalone shell. Isn't that amazing? So, and it's just loose sage from my garden, and I dried it, and then I can light it and carry the abalone shell around the house, or I can place the abalone shell in the center of the house and let the smoke clear the house that way. Now, uh, it will get hot underneath, so you always want to put something under it. If you're carrying it, you may want to have a little pot holder or something like that so you don't get burned. And so that's it. Again, uh, Donna Stellhorn, it's Sage and Smudge, this uh, great little booklet that I wrote so long ago, which has helped so many people. I hope you check it out on my website, Feng Shui Form. And if you have any questions, make sure you email me or put a question in the comments. Have a great day.